Hey guys, in this video I want to show you my new car radio. It is an Alpine and there is the um, specific car, um, you know, model number there. It is basically a 2D radio um, CD player. It's got built-in Bluetooth, a built-in AUX port, a built-in USB port, etc. So I'm going to um, quickly show it to you now. So basically when you get this installed, whether you install it yourself or get it done professionally, I just got it done professionally, uh, you will basically have the 2D unit installed and you will also have this small little microphone installed. I got mine installed up here. Uh, so I want to show you some of the functions. So I'm just going to briefly show you the um, car radio. Uh, so basically obviously you have the um, CD slot there, you have 1 to 6, which are all of your presets. I believe you have FM1, FM2 and AM, so you can have 12 FM presets. Uh, we basically have the source button here, which is um, to switch between everything. So at the moment it is currently um, set to the tuner. Though if I click on um, source, I can switch it over to the disc. Uh, USB audio, so there is the USB port. Uh, Bluetooth audio, which I will show you in a minute, and the AUX port. Uh, so yeah, I will um, show you the Bluetooth audio now and how it works. So I have got my Galaxy Note um, paired to the Bluetooth audio. So for example, if I open up this podcast app and I start playing the podcast, everything you know, it's fun. But that's you okay. should be Episode able to 94. hear it. Thanks to the good people at Netgear, netgear.com.au. We appreciate their support and they'll be with us early in the week. Or I can open up, you know, a completely different app, like I could open up Spotify. Do I have anything saved offline? No, it doesn't look like it. And as you can see, I'm able to um, obviously stream Spotify also, pretty much anything over Bluetooth audio. Um, so yeah, that's how Bluetooth audio works. Now I want to show you basically how the phone function works. So let's say that you're, um, you know, on the radio tuner and you want to make a call. In my case, I've got an Android. This will be slightly different if you have an iPhone or not much different. You basically click on the phone. Uh, for voice dial, you basically click in the middle. And on the um, Galaxy Note 2, it will basically open up S voice. Um, I imagine that if you had an iPhone, it would open up Siri. Uh, so let me try that again. I will click in for voice dial. Call Belinda. Calling Belinda Rays. And as you can see, it is now going to call the contact. Uh, so as you can see, it's pretty easy to operate if you're driving. You can quite easily um, voice dial. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend um, getting this model if you're looking at it. You won't regret it. It's, you know, a very good unit, the best unit that I have personally used. Um, it doesn't come with a remote control, though it appears to have a sensor for one at the top, unless they forgot to include mine, I'm not sure. So yeah, I'm, you know, very happy with it. It cost me um, $299. Though I got it from a, you know, a car radio shop and they are probably, you know, a bit expensive. You might be able to get it cheaper elsewhere. Though, yeah, um, I'm quite happy with it. You know, um, you can play CDs, listen to the radio, stream music, um, you know, podcasts um, from your Android or iPhone device. You can obviously plug in any device via AUX, USB. I'm not sure what type of files the USB supports. So yeah, that is um, pretty much it for this video. Um, I highly recommend checking it out and getting it if you are interested in it. As I said before, you won't regret it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, if you have any questions, then feel free to ask me and thanks for watching.